I'm here with Mike and Mary at the World Championships in Champere, Switzerland. We're hanging out, getting ready for the big day, the cross country coming up on Saturday. And uh, here to chat. So I was wondering if you guys could tell me a little bit. Um, I know, Mary, you were recently diagnosed with Lyme disease and had to miss a bunch of racing this summer. Can you tell us how you're feeling now, um, several weeks later after what you've been through? Well, it's been a pretty challenging past couple months. Um, just uh, feeling pretty bad physically and um, not really knowing what was going on, but still pushing through, racing some World Cups. Um, and then finding out that I did indeed have Lyme disease and um, having to take the time down to, um, to take the medication for six weeks of antibiotics mm -hmm. and, um, and just wonder, you know, how, where my place in this racing world was with, um, mm -hmm. with that blow. But um, really, you know, just I had to just accept the situation and um, do the best I could to um, move forward positively in my recovery. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm feeling great. I just finished the antibiotics last week mm -hmm. after Val de Sol, and, um, and I'm just really psyched to be here with a renewed perspective and appreciation for being able to get out and race my bike in Europe with my husband and uh, have just, you know, cherish every moment of this amazing lifestyle. Excellent. So I wonder if you guys are the only husband and wife racing this weekend? I no, wonder. definitely not. No, there's a few. Okay, there's a couple. Yeah. couple uh, Jeremy and Heather. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's right, um, right. Let's see. I'm sure there's others too, but yeah, we definitely are probably the only ones living in the RV in the campground <laughs> uh, together. And, yeah. uh, definitely uh, is a pretty cool opportunity to you know, see a lot of things as a couple, even though mm -hmm. we're always talking about racing and racing and bikes mm -hmm. and all that, um, uh -huh. but it's, you know, it is a pretty, pretty great thing that we're able to do, for sure. Can you guys tell me a little bit about your impressions of the course here? Uh, it's great. I, probably one of the best courses we've seen in the last... Uh, in this last year, uh, if not longer, it's pretty technical. It's a short course. Um, the spectating can be really good because it winds back on itself mm -hmm. several times. Um, there's it's challenging um, in a technical way, um, and with a lot of roots and rocks. Not a ton of extended climbs, so real sort of punchy mountain bike style. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's going to be a great battle. They uh, this year they've widened the course a little bit to mm. make some room for passing. So great. There's a couple features that uh, I think will challenge some of the athletes' uh, technical skills and maybe even um, some A and B line type of things where people are going to be taking a B line um, out of safety concerns. Right. So um, definitely a, a, a top-level uh, course on a technical perspective, and uh, it's going to be a great race, uh, great one to race on as well. So one more question for you both. Um, what would make the race on Saturday a success for you? A successful race is uh, when you go into it with a good feeling, mm -hmm. you give it your 100%, and you come out of it uh, without any injuries. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, well also, said. just, um, you know, taking the opportunity every moment you're reading the race, mm -hmm. um, making those moves, and, um, you know, giving what you have, and um, if... If I could finish in the top 15 or 10, I'd be very happy with a successful race. Great. Uh, How about you, Mike? Having no regrets, you know, once you're done. Mm -hmm. So that means taking advantage of every moment out there um, from the moment the gun goes off to the end. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't want to put any numbers on it because mm -hmm. you just never know. Everyone's coming with their A game. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just hoping to do our best. Um, but we're just here to represent the country, represent our sponsors, and ride proud. Great. Well, thank you both very much for joining us, and good luck on Saturday. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you.